For full episodes of the Diverse Mentality Podcast, check the links in the description below. The full video version is available on the main channel, and the audio version is available on your favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Uh, this is a crazy article that I read that was kind of surprising, but it wasn't surprising. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's really sad to read, honestly. Um, what ended up happening was obviously when DMX passed away, they d decide to determine the estate's worth. You know, they look at everything and how much money coming in, how much he owes, how much he's in debt, this and that. It turns out that DMX's estate is worth less than a million dollars. Uh, let's go over the article. Hip hop legend DMX, despite selling more than 70 billion, 74 million albums across a widely successful career in music and movies, left behind an estate worth less than $1 million and perhaps less than $50,000, according to court papers. That is crazy. The, the dueling and daunting estimates appeared in a pair of court documents filed by five of rap icon Earl Simmons' 15 children. The rapper known as DMX, who died April 9th at age 50 following a massive heart attack, left behind a legacy richer in music than finances, the court papers indicated. The first surrogates court filing in Westchester County came May 10th from DMX's daughters, Sasha Simmons and Jada Olden. While court papers dated May 21st were filed on behalf of sons Xavier Tacoma and Sean Simmons. Both groups are seeking to become administrators of the rap star's estate. The woman estimated the worth of DMX estate at less than 50000 while the sons put it, its value at under $1 million despite his emergence in the late 90s as one of rap's biggest stars alongside Jay-Z and Method Man. DMX, okay, so they talk about, you know, consecutive albums, doing movies, um, his drug addiction. Um, they said the brilliant rapper with his distinctive delivery and hardcore lyrics was also once charged with failure to pay 400000 in child support. Herbert Nass, an attorney for both the sons, declined any comment Tuesday on their court filing. Lawyer Alexander Woodridge, representing the daughters, also declined to address the paperwork fined filed earlier this month, but a source familiar with the state indicated its value could increase dramatically in the years ahead, given the popularity and death of catalog left behind by DMX with rap classics such as Party Up In Here, Slip and Get At Me Dog. He said, I don't doubt it. Uh, the music will last into eternity. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I believe, well, first, just recently, actually, uh, the song, What These Bitches Want, from DMX and Cisco just went gold, which is, you know, that means people are streaming the fuck out of it. Now, that's a good thing, but the bad thing is how much does DMX actually own of this music? So how much is actually going towards him? That's the thing. When we see these things, it's like, great, hey, people are streaming the music. Yeah, shout out to DMX. Good news. But do they actually own the music? Are they getting any percentage? And actually, very important. That's very important because that dictates how much the estate gets and then how much the kids get, how much the ex-wife, all this stuff, all that shit that matters gets. So I'm hoping this new album that comes out this Friday, which I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash QuakeGW. Follow me on there. I'm going to be streaming it live, giving my reactions. I'm hoping that album, 100% of the proceeds go to DMX's estate and his family. That's the only right thing to do. You know, if this is really worth under a million, you know, that's decent. Don't get me wrong. But based off what DMX has done, it should be worth a lot more. And I do agree. It's going to rise as time goes on. I'm sure there's going to be more music released. I'm sure, you know, and his music is classic. You know, those singles slipping, all those records, I'm forever going to be bumping, 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 <laughs> bumping. So I can see it increasing as time goes on. Streaming is going to make it, you know, as people are going to sample those records, as time goes on, like Drake has sampled a few artists are going to sample them and they're going to come back into streaming and become popular again. And people are going to know their origins. And, and that's important. That's important to know who owns that and who's getting percentages of that. So I hope, you know, things work out and the kids get, because it's, it's you know, I, I, I hate seeing when, when, when the person passed away, especially with the easy thing, his kids easy worked his ass off and his kids are still like, they're not at where they're supposed to be at. What he worked hard for them is to them, for them not to struggle. And that's the same thing with DMX. He worked hard for them not to struggle. So they shouldn't be struggling. DMX sold so many fucking albums 
and he's still getting streamed, they should not be struggling. So, yeah, um, I'm excited for the album. I haven't checked out the track that came out, by the way. I'm waiting for Twitch. So I haven't checked out that track. I can't give my opinion on it. I believe it's the Benny the Butcher track with Wayne and stuff like that. I haven't checked it out, but that's out right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get more music. You know, I'm still waiting on DMX Pop Smoke. Maybe it might appear on Pop Smoke's album. I don't know. Um, let's hope his estate rises and the kids get what they're deserved. 